What's up everyone back for another beer review and today I will be reviewing a beer from Artisanal Brew Works and they're out of Saratoga Springs, New York and this is their Warheads Extreme Sour, the lemon variant. So this is a sour ale that is brewed with the Warheads Lemon Candy Syrup from Warheads and it comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, no IBUs list in time of review. This can is just over two months old. I'm going to give a huge thanks and shout out to a very good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Kyle, over at No Hype Beer Review. So thank you very much, Kyle. Truly do appreciate it. In the description box, I'll post a link not only to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he sent my way, but also his channel because Kyle has a fantastic beer tubing channel. Great dude, great reviews. Highly recommend going over there and checking out his content, giving him a sub. Just an overall great great dude. So uh, a while ago, this is probably, mm, I don't know, about three months ago, uh, maybe even longer at this point, um, Kyle uh, did like a, he went to Artisanal Brew Works and it's one of his local breweries now that he really enjoys. And he went there and they released uh, basically five different uh, variations of uh, this beer. Uh, they did five different Warheads flavors. And uh, he did a quick uh, video running down, a six or seven minute video running down like what these uh, beers are all about and whatnot. Basically, uh, to make a long story short, um, Warheads and Artisanal Brew Works kind of, uh, you know, basically formed a partnership. And I believe Warheads sends uh, Artisanal Brew Works their um, syrups of each of the flavors of Warheads, and then they brew a beer with each of the flavors of Warheads. Now, they put food coloring in each one to kind of mimic the color of the uh, candy itself. I remember... Kyle saying that the base one, the lemon, didn't have any food coloring so you could see what the base sour looked like. But on the side of this can, where is it? On the side of the can, it says malt beverage with natural flavors and food coloring. So I don't know uh, if in subsequent batches that they started putting food coloring in the lemon one. I have no idea. Kyle, if you have any information, let me know. But as far as I know, the base one is just the you know, the original color of the actual sour itself. And then the other variants actually use the food coloring. Now, uh, Kyle sent me four different, um, four different flavors. I think black cherry, watermelon, blue raspberry. The only one he didn't send me was the green apple. And the reason he didn't send it to me is at the time of this batch, which was like mid-March, they were just made a mixed four pack and they just forego, they, they just decided they're not going to do the green apple one. I believe in later batches, uh, green apple came back. So green apple is the only one I'm not going to be reviewing. I'm going to review the other ones along with this one. But I want to do this one first. And I think Kyle did the same thing just to kind of see the base look of the beer and kind of the lemon's probably going to be the more subtle, just... I was just say subtle flavor, but just like more basic flavor uh, compared to the rest. So that's why I'm doing the lemon one. So here we are. So sour ale with the lemon candy syrup from Warheads. Um, food coloring or not, doesn't really matter to me. Whatever. It's hopefully it just tastes like lemon Warheads. Um, but yeah, that doesn't look like it has food coloring. That looks just like a base, like Berliner Weiss or Goza or something, you know? That doesn't look like it has any of the, um, you know, any any food coloring. And I don't know. I a little bit of dirty glass mafia. You know I mean, you don't review beers for a while, you know, so that happens. So yeah, look, I mean, that just looks like, you know, like a basically more or less a Gozer Berliner Weiss has this like bright yellow color, uh, almost fluorescent. <laughs> Maybe there is food coloring. Um, it has like a, a nice murkiness to it, a uh, slight turbidity, haziness to it. Had about a finger of this bright white head that looked very soap sudsy as now uh, dissipated to a thin film. But yeah, that just looks like to me like a base Berliner Weiss or Gozer, kind of very simplistic in its look. Let's get a nose. Yeah, I mean, it smells It smells like any lemon candy you've ever had um, from, like, the big brands, from a Warheads, uh, Jolly Rancher, uh, Lifesaver. It just has that, that candied lemon kind of quality. It skirts very close to, like, the lemon dish, uh, dish soap kind of vibe to it, but doesn't get quite there. There's a sweetness in here. I don't think they're using lactose or anything. But yeah, I mean, if they're using the syrup itself and whatnot, yeah, there's like a there's like a candied lemon sweetness. It smells like it's going to be tart, and not sour, based on the nose. A little bit of a funkiness in there, slight graininess. But for me, it's just like would I say lemon warheads? Not exactly. This smells actually like more like a lemon Jolly Rancher, or like yeah, like a lemon Jolly Rancher, something like that. Lemon Starburst. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells like it's going to be super refreshing. It's, you know, starting to get warm out now. It, it, this sounds like it's going to just, smells like it's going to hit the spot for me personally. But anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Kyle. Okay, it's definitely, yep, no, it's sour. It's not tart. Um, 
the uh, nose was very misleading. It's definitely, it's not quite a Warhead Sour, but it's one of the more sour beers I've had recently. It's like a straight up firm sourness. Um, the body itself is like higher side of light body, very light body, very easy, refreshing, thirst quenching, just like a body is very light. Yeah, like higher side of light, approaching low, medium, but for 5% sour, yeah, it, it works. The, the body's fine. The mouthfeel, I knew these would be, you know, more of a straight sour beer. So very crisp um, on the palate, uh, you know, very effervescent, lots of carbonation. I think the body mouthfeel are, are, are quite good. The taste, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's it's a Warhead's like candy that has kind of been like melted down and thrown into a beer. And it's it's solid. I enjoy it. I have a feeling though, this is gonna be my least favorite of the bunch. A, why I like lemon. My preference is always like lemon lime or something in conjunction with lemon. And when it comes to lemon candies, any kind of lemon candies, I don't care what you're talking about, Jolly Rancher, Starburst, Warheads, they're typically my least favorite of the bunch. I know that they're never going to be bad or I'm not going to like the flavor, but they're always just like, eh, I don't really, I don't really want the lemon one. Like, I just don't. Um, I like lemons and what they bring to the table, like in, in the culinary aspect and whatnot. But when it comes to like actual candies, always my least favorite. So going into this review, I kind of knew this would probably be my least favorite one. And now drinking it, I'm pretty positive it's going to be. That said, it's not bad or anything. It's just the taste of it. I haven't really even mentioned the taste, and that's because there's just not a ton to this beer. Um, it has the candied uh, Warhead's lemon character, but it's not super sweet. It has more of a firm, like I said, sourness as opposed to tartness. Um, right up front, you're hit with that lemon. It carries on through along with the sourness. Like that's the two things you get. A little bit of like an underlying graininess. There's no bitterness to speak of. You can't taste the 5%. It's not really acidic. Like I'm not getting a huge like acidity to this one. I don't feel like I'm going to have heartburn. It's going to build up, which is nice. But the complexity is just not really there. But here's the thing. It's a 5% sour ale with the Warheads lemon candy. I didn't expect a lot from this one specifically. I feel like the watermelon, the blue raspberry, and the black cherry are going to be way more in the realm of what I would like from this series. So um, that said, rating on the Warheads extreme sour lemon uh, variant, the best I can do is 3.5 out of 5. Uh, you know, I got to be honest, and I'm always honest with my reviews. I appreciate Kyle sending me this entire series, and I've never had anything from Artisanal Brew Works. I know Kyle speaks highly of them. So this is my first beer, and, and a lot of times when you drink a first beer like this, your you know, first impression is like, well, it's just an okay beer, you know? But I, I know they can do better, and I know that the other ones are probably... And again, when I say do better, somebody might drink this who loves lemon like candies, and especially lemon warheads. They might drink this one and be like, man, that is right in the wheelhouse. And I think if you do like lemon candies... This one would probably be way better. It's probably be four and above for a lot of people. So for me, it's not exactly what I want. And I knew that going in, which is why I'm telling you guys that I kind of knew that this wasn't going to be my favorite. That said, 3.5 out of 5 still means it's a solid, good uh, beer. And I think if you're ta talking about a Warhead's Extreme Sour um, Ale with, with, with the lemon candy syrup, this is probably like a 4 out of 5 or higher. Like they pretty much nailed it. It's just there's not a lot of complexity here. And when I drink in beers nowadays, I, I don't need beers to be overly complex. But this is kind of one note. And it's just one note that I really don't care for because of my personal preference. So 3.5 out of 5 for uh, Artisanal Brew Works Warheads Extreme Sour Lemon Variant. Yeah, it's refreshing. I'll drink the rest of it and I'll enjoy it. This would be, if this was ice cold on a um, very warm day, yeah, you could just pound that out and be like almost lemonade-esque but with 5% alcohol. Price and availability. I believe these were $20 a four-pack. Kyle, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's $20 four pack. I would not pay $5 again for this can, especially, you know, this flavor. We'll see about the other ones. I mean, you know, $20 four pack kind of going great for a lot of sours and whatnot nowadays. But for this specific one, no. And availability, I believe these are brewery only. I don't know with the pandemic if they're, you know, getting into local bottle shops or whatever. But um, yeah, it's pretty much brewery only as far as I know. Um, don't know if they're like doing like online ordering and uh, curbside pick and all that stuff. But uh, Kyle, let me know if I said anything that was incorrect in this review because I probably did because I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. And I know you have, uh, you know, the the details on this one and, and you obviously huge fan of the brewery and whatnot and you sent them my way. So you know more about these guys than I do. So if there's anything that is misleading from what I've said or whatever, feel free to correct me. Uh, I appreciate you sending uh, all these my way. I figured I'd start with this one because again, uh, as far as I know, it doesn't have food coloring. Even if it does, this is like kind of like the base sour and then you kind of start going into the other ones. I think I'm really gonna enjoy the rest of them. But uh, this one, you know, kind of missed the mark for me. 
It's okay. It happens. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Thanks again to Kyle for hooking me up with this one. And uh, until the next one, cheers.